you went from there to do you finish in um, education? Yeah, I, yeah. I finished um, normal uh, education, my yeah. uh, GCSEs, yeah. and um, then went to do my A-levels. Okay. Um, but I got, time I got to the end of the second year, I thought, this yeah. is not me. I, I, I left and I, um, I got, got a job and I yeah. did some menial tasks, worked in an ice cream factory, yeah. worked as a security guard, and then worked to, went from security guard to work as a, um, for the D, DHSS, or DHSS okay, yeah. as it's yeah. called right yeah. now. Um, giving out checks when people were sick. Yeah. Know, people sickness benefits. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it, it kind of moved on. Um, so from selling from ice there. cream to giving out benefits, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah exactly, like, yeah, yeah. Just, I mean, for engineering. Yeah. I, I yeah, wasn't even literally. selling ice cream. Yeah. I, I, was, I was making the You're ice cream. You're making ice cream. Yeah. I was at the machine okay. where you got it into like, next. Okay. <laughs> 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 you got the ring going on. <laughs> you okay. had to do that. Yeah. So you did all of that. Yeah. And then, because oh, oh, I'm just interested in the journey, yes, you see. Okay. So and then what happened? So you, after doing all these types of roles. Yeah, and I, I, I was I joined financial services, you know, where yeah. that famous letter turned up, you know, I joined financial services, life insurance and pensions yeah. when I was 21. And then, uh, you know, kind of struggled through that and also built up lots of debts because I didn't okay. really know about money. Because yeah. I was working in the money area. So you worked thought, in money, but, but, but still actually knew it nothing time. about me because my, okay. well, the, the tools and there were savings plans and pension yeah. things you could do. Uh -huh. I didn't have the philosophy, I didn't have the mindset myself to, to know why I should save. I love them, what you just said just there. Sense. So what you just said, even yeah. though you were work, see, mm. people might assume that Derek he's mm. working fine. He's naturally good at maths anyway. Mm. He's good with you know he understands money. Mm. And then as she said, there's all the tools around you. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can't go have the philosophy. You, you know, why should I pick up those tools? Yeah, that's and, a, I, yeah, I like and, it. And one of the things I used to do was, um, and people still do it. You know, I look at this malady that exists mm. in the world that so many people want to be like. Yeah. So I wanted to appear successful. Yes. So I drove a, a, a car which was on, which was on finance <laughs> yeah. um, that I couldn't afford. So mm -hmm. okay, we don't finance because some good business models yeah. put your cars through finance for your business. But mm -hmm. back then it was just car and finance because I couldn't afford it. Yeah. I got, I got a big mortgage that I couldn't afford. Yeah. So I was struggling and I got debts to help me with my debts. Yeah. You know, credit cards. And I got into a place where I was kind of 25 and mm -hmm. you know, low in confidence and also yeah. lots and lots of debts. Yeah. And then that continued and I continued in these debts. I uh, got married when I was 25 years okay. old. Um, and then just carried on really just trying to make ends meet where yeah. you know, the, the month runs out before, before the, the, the money runs out before the month does. Yeah. You, where you've got people, I've had the situation where I've been to court yeah. to save the house from, the, yes. from, from, from repossession. Okay. And um, that's, I put that in, in my book as you know and yeah. I also talk about when I've had bailiffs in the house to yeah. say no, you, you're not paid the council tax, yeah. so um, we're going to come and value your yeah. furniture and if you don't pay it with seven days we're yes. going to come and take your furniture. So really, so yeah. Like, okay, I'll, I'll sort that one out. Yes. Okay. So been been through all of that. Yeah and built up these debts because so many people of today want to have and appear to be this thing yeah. without actually getting it, earning it. And by the way, Correct. we can all be that thing and have those things mm -hmm. if we had more trust on the inside Correct. rather than trust when people think about us on the yeah, outside. Absolutely. So, so yeah. I was in that pattern. So when people say, oh, doesn't know what he's talking about now, he's, he's this wealthy guy now, but you know what, mm. absolutely oh, you've know been what through it. Like. You've had the journey. Absolutely know what that, you've what had what the that journey. feels like. Finances. Mm -hmm having wealth mm -hmm. and managing it yeah. gives you uh, a certain way to be you can you can exist in a particular way correct. you that's can help correct. people yeah correct. like you're doing yeah and um, I think that's the whole thing some people mm. have got this warped idea mm. it depends upon the messages that you grew up about what money means yes indeed in yeah. your family home yeah yeah uh, we grew up with six messages about <laughs> what your messages around um, money? we haven't got any yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> messages and those rich people yeah yeah and, and all the rest of it yeah, yeah. We, we, we had um, not, many, not very many conversations yes. with money yeah. you know, when we were younger. Yeah. What we did know, we didn't have very much. So yeah. the conversations were sometimes where the insurance collection man would come to the door. Yeah. You weren't in. Yeah. You'd hide. <laughs> when the gas collection man was, was at the door, <laughs> mum and dad aren't in. We didn't have the money. Yeah. When the TV collection, yes, yeah. back in the day, you put money, yeah. money in the back yeah. of the TV yeah. To, yeah. to turn it to keep yeah. the TV on. People yeah. won't believe that, but yeah. 50p in the back of the TV yeah. to keep it, keep it going. Really. Yeah. And then when the TV collection man came, we were waiting to see how much took out and what was left yeah. We could have back in yes. the family. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I know how not to have money. Yeah. I also know how it makes you feel. Mm -hmm. I also know that um, if someone had taught me very early on a different philosophy for, yeah. for money, philosophy, yeah. that it's about also adding the value to the world and the more mm -hmm. value you add to the world, which you've got, yeah. by the way. Mm -hmm. You've got the value, but add it to the world yeah. and the world will reward you unconditionally. Yeah. And you need to accept it when it does. Yeah. Rather than saying, I'm not good enough or, work, yeah, or that's whatever. The thing. You accept it. Yes. That's the key thing. Yeah. You've been through a lot. Yeah, yeah. You've experienced a lot. So it's not yeah. just like, hey, 
this is the finished article. It took, you know, you need to know what's behind the scene. You know, Indeed, see, yeah, like yeah, you say, apart yeah, from, but you know, yeah. in a sense that this is the article now. Yeah. But there was so much more, the so foundation more. to build yeah. up Indeed. to where you are now. Yeah. When you've got when you've got yeah. debts and you knocks your confidence. Yeah. And, then, and I was just working because I was self-employed doing sales. Yeah. I was just working harder and harder, yes. doing more and more hours, six, yes. seven days a week, because I thought, well, if I just get out there trying to find some business, yeah. then it'll be okay. But that went on for like for 17 years. Yeah. You know, during when I was 21 in the, in the mm-hmm. industry, by the time I got to 38, mm-hmm. um, uh, it, I just had enough. I came, yeah. came, I came to breaking and making point yeah. all, all in one moment. It's never too well, late. I, I, I was, um, I have to call myself um, a late learner, late developer. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't kind of realise on this stuff and had my 10 second moment yeah. in 2003. It was just like, mm-hmm. oh, wow. Yeah. But that one moment mm-hmm. changed everything. Everything. Um, just that, just a moment. And, yeah. and this the reason why I think it's important to just, I've just come to this now yeah. is is to pay attention mm-hmm. because and pay attention to what pay attention to what the, the world god the universe is is trying to say to yeah. you that's what your gifts are trying to nudge you and tell you and give you a clue or give you a hint or you pushing tell, you tell people how pay, they pay attention people. well first thing yeah. i do and i say this kind of all the time yeah the night i changed i think in my, in my life was 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 the um November 11th, 2003, mm-hmm. and the office security guard literally knocked on the door mm-hmm. to lock up the building because it's, it's 9.30 at night. Yeah. And he went to lock up and, he, and I said, just give me, just give me 10 more yeah. minutes. And then he came back a few months. I'm shuffling a bit more paper. I'm mm-hmm. going to go. I'm going to drive in the country. Yeah. I'm supposed to drive everywhere to get a bit of yeah. business. What, what, what prospects can I call in tomorrow? And, and I'm shuffling stuff around, getting no further forward than I was at 8 in the morning yeah. when I started. So then he comes back and I said, give me two more minutes. And um, he just looked at me and he asked me a question. He said, uh, what time did you get in this morning? Yeah. I, I said, well, um, you know, eight o'clock. Mm. Uh, but you know, he kind of just walked away and I just thought, wow, you know, I'm in this moment. I'm thinking, eight, it's almost 10 o'clock at night yeah. now. I've been up since six on the road at seven, got the office just before eight. It's almost, I've been doing this for this week, this month. I've been doing this for years. Mm-hmm. I've seen my wife and my kids. And I had this feeling that I was rooted to the spot going, wow, this is not my life. Yeah. I'm not meant to be in this place. Mm-hmm. This is not what I'm meant to be. Yeah. And this, in fact, this isn't even me. I'm not happy because I'm not me and you can't be happy as not you. Yeah. And actually I've been setting these goals to be happy and I've never got those goals. So I'm not being happy either. So actually, whole thing I've got to do is just, just be me authentically. And what came out of that yeah. moment was, it was an epiphany that said, instead of, instead of living to what you're gonna get in the future that yeah. you're setting, writing down that you're not actually getting, mm-hmm. live from within, yeah. set daily standards mm-hmm. from who you truly are as a person yeah. and live from that place, live from there because they are your authentic self. And as you grow more into yourself, as you reconnect that relationship with yourself, yeah. your inner self will give you more that it has for you. It'll give you more the more you've got, it will come, more come out. So I'll give you some now. Yeah. It's like any relationship. Yeah. If, if, you're, if you're courting someone, yes. the very first day you court someone, you don't just give them your, your bank card no, and yeah. your PIN number no. and the keys to your house. <laughs> <laughs> you don't do it. No, I don't. Yeah, that's, that's good. Just, just, just double check that, yeah. What you normally do, you, you, yeah. you, 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 you'll organise a day and you say, yeah. okay, oh, they've turned up. Yeah. And they've turned up on time. Yeah. I see how they build, how you build the trust. Yeah. Years later, you're, you're deep into a relationship yeah. with someone and they've got your pin number, yeah, and they've got, got, yes. got your card, yeah. and they've got the keys, and you've yeah. got theirs. Yeah. So, the idea is imagine we've, we've fraction, fractionated from our, our true selves, from mm. our true gifts. We've broken that over time by listening yeah. too much to the world yeah. rather than to the inner self. And what happens as we listen to our inner self and we, we pay attention to our own uh, voice mm-hmm. and we live from daily standards, yeah. the true rules and criteria for us, mm-hmm. for me, the individual, yes. the universe, live from yeah. that place. Here's what happens to the relationship. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. it. And it gives That's you awesome. more because what yeah. we probably haven't got time to go into today oh, yes. is that what I discovered as I began to do more and more of that is my inner true self beliefs released so many things to me yeah. that I didn't know consciously. Yeah. It had, uh, it, be, I think yeah. sometimes we can be afraid yeah. of what's within us, you know. Oh, definitely. I, I, I think yeah. I've experienced that before in my mm-hmm. life. You know, I was like, wow, this happened to that. Oh, can, yeah, I, yeah, can yeah. I actually handle can this? Can you handle it? Yeah, and, and you can, and there's yeah. more. What you need to do to achieve your goals is you have to set daily standards and live by those standards. Set standards from who you are, authentically from yourself, and be that person just one day at a time.